was hot. So today I'm going to meet up with Omar from Whole Mars Catalog, and we're going to talk about Tesla's full self-driving beta. But before we do that, I have to go drop off some mail. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, man? All right, good to be fully vaccinated. Okay, so how do you how do you enable full self-driving in a Tesla? So yeah, you know, it's actually a complete myth that Tesla drivers are so confused by the name autopilot that they're getting in and they think the car is autonomous and they have no idea that, you know, they have to monitor it. This is just not true at all. Besides all the warnings on the website and what they tell you when you pick up the car and all that stuff, it is impossible to turn on the autopilot without knowing what it is and what it isn't. If you just look here in the autopilot settings, when you first get in the car, all of the autopilot features are off when you first get the car. So let's try and turn on all the features. Okay, so just turning on auto steer. Auto steer features currently in beta. Auto steer is a driver assistance feature that does not make your vehicle autonomous. Okay, it does not make your vehicle autonomous. Please only use it if you'll pay attention to the road. Okay, we don't have enough time to read all this. Enable that. Enable that, you get another warning. Navigator on autopilot does not make your Model 3 autonomous. Like other autopilot features, the driver is still responsible. Do you want to enable it while it's still in beta? Yes. Then customize Navigator on autopilot. Okay, enable at the start of every trip. Mad Max. Okay, require lane change confirmation. You get an, a warning on that. Lane change notification. You get another warning on that. Okay, now I want to turn on the full self-driving. Full self-driving is in early limited access beta and must be used with additional caution. It may do the wrong thing at the worst time, so you must keep your hands on the wheel and pay attention, extra attention to the road. Do not become complacent. When FSD is enabled, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to enable FSD? Yes. Traffic light and stop sign control. Another warning. Yes. Green light chime. Full self-driving visualization preview. Another warning. Expanded full self-driving visualization. Summon. Another warning. Okay, and then you can customize summon. Right. So basically, if, and then let's say even you got through all of that and you didn't read any of the warnings. See that? Please keep your hands on the wheel. Be prepared to take over at any time. Right. And let's say I take off my seatbelt. Okay? So I was confused. I thought the car was autonomous. I can take off my seatbelt and get in the back. No, the car is not letting me. It tells me every single time you have to monitor. And when I took my seatbelt off, it stayed in the lane, but it slowed down and it stopped so that it wouldn't continue driving on its own without the seatbelt on. So really, if you are trying to fool the system, you really have to deliberately know that you're not supposed to do this and engage in this reckless behavior anyway. You need to figure out how to crawl out of the seatbelt without, you know, 
unlocking it. You can't open the door. You have to put some kind of weight on the steering wheel because if you don't, it'll stop just based off the weight on the steering wheel. It's able to make turns, check if there's anyone coming before it makes a turn. If there's pedestrians, people on a scooter running into the street, it's able to see them and stop and let them go before continuing. This is extremely powerful. For the first time, you're not relying on the human to be able to drive safely. Even if the human makes a mistake, the car and the software now have an understanding of what's going on that they can use to protect you, whether you have autopilot on or when you're driving manually. I mean, obviously, you know, it needs to be supervised, wow, but- so it, it saw that truck coming. Yep. It can see pretty much everything. I know there was a lot of talk about whether the cameras are good enough, whether they have enough viewing angle. Right. It can see everything. I mean, this is the most transformative moment in safety since the seatbelt and the airbag. It'll save more lives than both of those combined. And you can see, unlike the production version of Autopilot now, it works with faded lane lines, lane lines that are messed up. You can see here there's even a line through the middle of the road, and it's still able to figure out where it needs to go. It's super smart, and it is only by training an AI with tons and tons of real world data that you can make a system that will work in all of these conditions. to the parking lot. <laughs> yep, and here we are. It's crazy. Thanks so much, man. I, I appreciate it. Oh, shit. That's a What's desk this? wedge. Oh, hell yeah. I need this. Yeah, open it up, man. It's perfect for like in and out. Oh, I need this. Working I'm eating in my car all the time. Yeah, just don't use it with FSD beta. <laughs> Hopefully Consumer Reports doesn't catch me with this. Yeah, no FSD beta, only when safely parked. All right, sounds good. Appreciate you, brother, man. Thank you so much. Take care, man. Cheers. <laughs>